Good morning, good morning. Good morning, and welcome. Today is our Founders Day. 58 years ago today, Christopher Newport welcomed our first students to the John W. Daniels School, an old public school building in downtown Newport News. So happy birthday, Christopher Newport. And it's certainly appropriate that we would gather on this special occasion to celebrate as a university community. At the outset, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to each of you for all that you do every day. There are about 1,100 of us, faculty and staff, and everyone works so hard and contributes mightily to our success and our significance. Today, I will not name names, but I want to express my profound gratitude to each and every one of you. Now, we have a new admissions video, and I want everyone to see the faces and hear the voices of our students as they talk about this place and what makes this place so precious. And I want all of you to consider what we have accomplished together. Two decades ago, we set out to build another great university for America. And in truth, Few schools, if any, have come so far so quickly. We reject the notion of incremental progress. We're in the business of dramatic transformation. And everything we do is done at the highest level of excellence. What sets Christopher Newport apart is this. We care about minds and hearts. We want our students to live lives of meaning, consequence, and purpose. We want them to lead, serve, engage, love, and set the world on fire. At Christopher Newport, we have a name for that. We call it a life of significance. We're all captains, from academics to athletics. We are a community of leaders. Here, you're encouraged to grow into the best possible version of yourself. At Christopher Newport, students come first. The professors are always here for you. With an open door policy, you're welcome to come and talk about homework, an idea, or just life. You're not just a spectator. It's a place to engage, to be involved, and build meaningful relationships that will last the rest of your life. There's a real sense of magic here. At Christopher Newport, it's not just about your life. It's about the lives of those around you, living in a way that impacts people in your community, your family, your friends. It's about service to others, helping them succeed and pushing them forward. I've heard somebody call it a community of compassion, like this idea that everybody wants to see you succeed even if they're not in your field of interest or field of study. It's the people that truly make Christopher Newport. From my first visit here, I knew this was a place where higher academic achievement occurs. Education not only encompasses your coursework, but also the building of connections with all kinds of people. People who will challenge, challenge you to grow, 
and encourage you to explore your entire range of possibilities. That's the beauty of Christopher Newport. My senior year of high school, I went on a tour in the theater department and students were yelling, come to see you, come to see you, and I felt like I was home. I've met so many great people through internships, volunteer work, and my theater department. Now my little brother goes here, we're actually in a show together, and I'm so excited to go through this journey with him. I couldn't think of a better place to be than at CNU. It's not just the beautiful campus or even the academic rigor, it's the culture and community at Christopher Newport. There's a humble confidence to everybody here. People are strong in their beliefs, but they're also willing to help each other out. From the moment I set foot on this campus, it was so welcoming. There was a true sense of community. You see, we all bring different experiences to the table. We want to do different things with our lives, but the thing that we share, that we really stand upon, is being that captain and leading a life of significance. This place, this opportunity, are you ready to set the world on fire? Well, what about it? You know, never Never has there been a time in the American experience that so demands kindness and compassion. We seem to be divided over everything. The divides used to be simple, Coke or Pepsi, Ford or Chevy, paper or plastic, Alabama or Auburn, <laughs> Ohio State or Michigan. Now it seems the divisions are deeper and more personal. We see it in politics, but we also see it in almost every aspect of our life. What we buy, what we watch, what we say, even the choice of our friends. Here at Christopher Newport, we have strong opinions. We differ on many things and in many ways, but we differ without a divide. And there's a reason for that. Our students in the video said it best. Hear the words of Will Gibson, and I quote, it's not just a beautiful campus or even the academic rigor. It's the culture in the community at Christopher Newport. There's a humble confidence in everyone here. People are strong in their beliefs, but they're willing to help each other, end of quote. And the words spoken by Sam Redecki, At Christopher Newport, he said, it's not just about your life. It's about the lives of those around you. Living in a way that impacts people in your community, your family, your friends. It's about service to others, helping them succeed and pushing them forward. I've heard someone call it a community of compassion. It's the people that truly make Christopher Newport. End of quote. We're all captains. A community of leadership. 
a humble confidence, the willingness to help and serve others, to push people forward and help them succeed, a culture of kindness, a community of compassion. These virtues are the foundation of this great university. And they're so desperately needed in America today. And they're not spontaneously apprehended. They must be taught by each of us every day. In the classroom, in the lessons that we teach, and in the way we live our lives. And it requires leadership. That's why here we're passionate about minds and hearts. We believe real success is a life well lived. We want our students to choose to live lives of meaning, consequence, and purpose. And of course, we have a name for that. We call that a life of significance. In a world that seems so often to be consumed by self, by money, fame, power, and even darkness, our mission to inspire leadership and lives of significance is more important than ever. And that mission influences everything that we've done and everything that we will do going forward. Because we care about minds and hearts and lives of significance, we cherish our curriculum of the liberal arts and sciences. We study and emphasize leadership and developed a nationally respected president's leadership program. Our core curriculum is rigorous, cited by the American Council of Trustees and Alumni as the most rigorous core curriculum of any public college or university in America. Our students perform thousands of hours of community service. And we cherish our speaking tradition, our honor code, and we build a chapel. We want our students to lead and serve and love and engage. And as you have heard me say often, set the world on fire. That's what makes Christopher Newport special. And that's what makes Christopher Newport an irresistible force. We have much to celebrate. Our applications have exploded. This year, we received over 7,500 applications. Our goal is a freshman class of 1,225. Today, we have 1,237 freshmen. The President's Leadership Program welcomed its largest class ever with 435 students. We've come a long way since that first class of 20 students in 1998. The program attracts our strongest students and has allowed us to create a marvelous culture of caring and honor and leadership on this campus. The quality of our students has soared. Listen to this. The average high school GPA of our freshman class is 3.84. That means almost half of the entire freshman class earned a high school GPA of more than 4.0. You know, in the old days, you couldn't exceed perfect. <laughs> but in this world, you can. Our students, on average, had an SAT score, critical reading, and math exceeding 1,200. What else? We will continue to add full fa full time faculty each year not to get bigger, but to drive down the size of our classes and increase student success. This year, 61% of our classes have 19 students or less. 
that's smaller than the classes in the high schools that our students had before they came here. There are only 29 classes on this campus larger than 50 students. Unlike so many of our sister institutions at Christopher Newport, there are absolutely no classes with hundreds and hundreds of students and no teaching assistants. We have real professors engaging high ability students in small classes. Two decades ago, we had, to make, we had to make it up. Remember Jay Paul, you were there. We had to make it up. All we could do was paint word pictures. But now the reality of the excellence of this place is seen and honored throughout the land. Princeton Review, Kiplinger's, Forbes, US News and World Report have all praised Christopher Newport. Recently, U.S. News released the 2020 rankings. Among the nearly 200 southern regional schools, we now stand third among the publics and sixth overall. Let me show you how quickly we moved up the ranks of the best schools in the South. In the South, by U.S. News and World Report, is it defined as everything from Virginia to Texas. Look at this. This shows where we were ranked in 2012 through 2020. Look at that progress. Look how far we've come in such a short period of time. It is absolutely remarkable. Most importantly, our students love this school and bring our campus alive with their energy and their enthusiasm and their intellect. In the just released rankings from Princeton Review, Christopher Newport is ranked as one of the nation's best 385 colleges and one of the nation's best values. We're also ranked among the nation's top 20 universities in these categories. In the best college dorms, in the best quality of life, in the happiest students, the most beautiful campus, the best run college, <laughs> and students most engaged in community service. Think about that. It is extraordinary. There are thousands and thousands of colleges and universities in America. And we rank among the 20 best schools in the country in the quality of life on this campus and having the happiest students and creating the most beautiful campus and leading and serving the best run college and students most engaged in community service. All of those rankings delight us and cheer us, but we're especially proud of our recognition for community service because service is one of our core values. Now, while CNU has made monumental strides in a very short period of time, these achievements represent only the beginning. We will continue to recruit the very best faculty, seek the very best students, and create an exceptional experience emphasizing leadership in honor and civic engagement. Last fall, we celebrated the completion of the Triple Library, a project that spanned nearly two decades and two phases of construction. A total of 165,000 square feet. The library is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It provides 1,100 seats for our students. A magnificent two-story reading room. And our collection is now approaching one million holdings. After the classes 
in the morning of each day. That library is filled with students. I invite you at any hour to walk into that magnificent two-story reading room, and you will see students everywhere, students working at every desk, and there's not a word spoken. There's absolute silence, which reflects, I believe, the rigor of our studies, the high expectations that our students place on themselves, and a reverence for these marvelous spaces that we've created. We have done it on purpose. We are unapologetic about building buildings of civic proportions and beautiful architecture. Our job is to instruct and inspire and there's nothing that does that more powerfully than great art and great architecture. Construction began in February on the Fine Arts Center. It will be completed by spring 2021. Soon the Ferguson Center and the new Fine Arts Center will stand side by side and will be connected by an extension of I.M. Pei's dramatic colonnade. The Fine Arts Center will bring an explosion of color and creativity to our campus and will contribute powerfully to the cultural and economic success of our community and commonwealth. Let me show you some pictures. This is the entrance to the new Fine Arts Center, a freestanding building that stands side by side with this building, but connected by the I.M. Pei Colonnade. Just as there is on the far end a dramatic tower, glass tower that stands 11 stories high, here there will also be a magnificent glass structure which will represent, I think, to the person when they see it as billowing sails. This is a combination of architecture. Across the face is the architecture of I.M. Pei and Henry Cobb. On this side, it should be Neo-Georgian, representing and facing the rest of the campus. So as you come around the corner, this is what the building will look like. We are going to build a new administration building. It's going to um, be on the site of the old post office between the post office and the CNU SunTrust building, Christopher Newport North. And here are pictures of that building from uh, four different perspectives. Uh, as you will see, it will reflect the architecture of Christopher Newport campus, and it will be a, a more appropriate, a professional environment uh, for our colleagues. We hope to begin construction next spring and complete that building in summer 2021, once our colleagues have moved into this modern new complex. We will demolish old Senior North, and it will become a beautiful green space. Now Gosnell has a new look. <laughs> Listen, anytime you want to break in with applause, will you just go right ahead? It's amazing, the building not only came down, but it seemed within days, um, it became a, a beautiful green space. You know, at Christopher Newport, we don't have the patience to wait for grass to grow, so we roll it out. <laughs> but let me tell you why we did that. Eventually, sooner than later, we hope, that site will become the third and final phase of Forbes Hall. Forbes Hall is home to instruction and research in the natural and behavioral sciences, including degrees in biology, chemistry, environmental science, neuroscience, and psychology. 
The first two phases of Forbes provide superb labs and instructional spaces in support of these programs and the exploding growth in our STEM majors. The third and final phase of Forbes Hall will provide technology-rich instructional spaces for computer science, computer engineering, electrical engineering, and neuroscience programs. We're also building a new residence hall on East Campus across Warwick Boulevard that will house 80 of our upper class students. And that will be available for our students in the next academic year. Finally, this fall, we celebrate the completion of the Jennings Family Stadium, which is a wonderful addition to our campus. And I'm so thankful to Bruce Jennings and his wife, Lori, and to Kendall and to Kyleen. Kyleen, who is a graduate of Christopher Newport and who played lacrosse here. And all of our leadership donors who made this stadium a reality. We're thrilled that our field hockey and lacrosse programs will now have a facility that will enhance their experience and empower their success. The Jennings Stadium, isn't that beautiful? That's, uh, <laughs> that turf field will be used by all of our students night and day. Uh, throughout the year. Um, and uh, this facility will house a thousand spectators. And there are our students on the field hockey team that are already making the most of that. Uh, Bruce Jennings is here today. Bruce Jennings is a leader on our uh, Board of Visitors. Uh, he and Lori are extraordinarily generous uh, in their giving and they give of themselves uh, as well as their treasure and uh, helping us realize our dreams. And uh, I wanted Bruce to be here today and I asked him to stand. You know, apropos um, the Jennings Family Stadium. Christopher Newport has the most successful athletic programs in Virginia. For the past 11 consecutive years, we've had the highest winning percentage in all sports of any school in Virginia. Of any school in Virginia. When I roll that out at admission events, I pause for a moment and say, eat your heart out, Hokies and Cavaliers. <laughs> the captains are the most successful. In the past academic year, for example, our women's soccer team, our men's basketball team, reached the final four in the nation. There are over 600 teams that play in the Division Three of the NCAA. And those two teams reached the final four. And all seven of our teams competed in the postseason championship rounds of the NCAA. We have 612 student athletes. And they win championships, and they also go to class, and they graduate. We don't pay them to play. They play because they thrive on athletic competition, but they also succeed gloriously in our classrooms. In this past academic year, 204, over a third of our student athletes were named to the all academic team of the Capital Athletic Conference. Well done, well done. Now let's talk about the future. At Christopher Newport, we have a clear sense of who we are and what we value and what we aspire to accomplish in the lives of our students, in the life of this commonwealth, in our nation, and the world. And we've been consistent from the very beginning. 
We want to get better and better, not bigger and bigger. For us, 5,000 students is the right size. We focus on the liberal arts and sciences and the undergraduate experience. That's what we're all about. We emphasize great teaching and small classes and lots of personal attention. Today, we have 287 full-time faculty, and we'll soon reach our goal of 300. That's the number we've long believed is essential to attaining and sustaining academic excellence. With more faculty, we're able to also enhance study abroad, undergraduate research, internships, and service. These are the kinds of experiences that enrich the study of the liberal arts and sciences and that form good citizens and leaders. We've all worked so hard to increase student success. For us, that means improving retention and graduation rates and reducing the time to graduate. Listen to this. Our freshman to sophomore retention rate has increased by 13 percentage points in the last 14 years. And over the last three years, it has averaged 87%. That puts us among the most successful schools in America. Our four-year graduation rate, can, yes. And everyone here, everyone here is responsible for this kind of success. The beauty of our campus, the extraordinary condition of our facilities, the greeting of people that cross our path, the extraordinary instruction in the classroom, and the availability of our faculty to encourage, to be there for our students, to go the extra mile. Each of us and each of you have played an all-important role in that. Our four-year graduation rate has now increased to 66%. Our six-year graduation rate, 78%. And we're approaching the 80% graduation rate in six years. That has been our goal. But we now have today one of the highest four-year graduation rates among all the public four-year colleges and universities in America. Many of you probably saw recently the article in the Chronicle of Higher Education that listed the colleges with the best four-year graduation rates in 2017. Let me show you this slide. Christopher Newport now stands at number 15. Out of 105 highly residential colleges, it's a pretty extraordinary list. Number 15, two decades ago, our graduation rate was 9%. Today, we stand in the ranks of the finest schools in America. Well done, well done, well done. We're also committed to recruiting more underrepresented students. This is challenging for us because we're competing for students with the very best schools, schools that are much older, and schools that possess huge endowments. Let me talk about two important programs, Community Captains and Captains Connection. Community Captains grants provisional admission to 75 Newport News High School sophomores each year. The program is open to 10th graders if they will be first-generation college students, the first students in their family to ever go to college, and if they qualify for free or reduced lunch. To be eligible, these students must have a high school GPA of at least 3.4 
or a PSAT score of at least 12 or 1150. Now, during their junior and senior high school years, these community captains will come to campus often. We'll offer an array of learning opportunities for them. And they'll be paired with Christopher Newport students who will act as mentors. As high school seniors, they'll be able to take a statistics class for free and earn college credit. College credit that we hope that they will bring to Christopher Newport, but they can take that credit anywhere. If they maintain a 3.4 GPA, if they fully participate in the program and honor its requirements, they'll be offered final acceptance to the university. Now, most of these students will qualify for federal assistance, the Pell Grant, and Virginia assistance through the Virginia Guaranteed Assistance Program. And that will reduce the cost of their annual education at Christopher Newport to $4,000 if they live at home and commute to campus. But we and our partners, the Newport News Public Schools and Achievable Dream, want these students to live on campus and be fully engaged in the life of this community. That increases the cost to $10,000 a year. So we've launched a Create a Community Captain fundraising campaign to help offset the cost of tuition and fees and room for these students. Christopher Newport will provide the board, the meals. The response has been overwhelmingly positive, but the needs are great. But imagine, if we could raise $10,000, these young people will have the opportunity to attend one of the finest schools in America for free each year. And what's so important to me is this. Not only will we be enriching and enriching lives, transforming lives, empowering lives, but we'll be doing it in this community. And if these young people choose to come and become one of us, a captain, and spend four years on this campus, I believe they will choose to remain in this community. And this community desperately needs these extraordinary young people to be good citizens and leaders, to remain in this community. The first class of community captains, all 10th graders, were selected this past spring. They are now beginning their junior year in high school. We hope that they will become Christopher Newport freshmen, captains, in 2021 and graduate four years later in 2025. We will do everything in our power to help these students learn, flourish, and grow, while at the same time we will deepen the bonds between this university and the city that we call home. I hope that you will help. Let me tell you about Captain's Connection. This past spring, Christopher Newport and Thomas Nelson launched Captain's Connection, a very innovative program to increase the number of job-ready graduates in those high-demand fields of technology and engineering. Thomas Nelson students will have earlier access to Christopher Newport, reducing the time it will take them to earn a degree in computer engineering computer science, and information science, and cybersecurity. This program will save students time and money, promote access and opportunity for hardworking, well-qualified Peninsula students. We're excited about strengthening our partnership with Thomas Nelson and preparing more students with skills that are absolutely critical to our economy, to our economic well-being. Under the terms of the agreement, students can come to Christopher Newport early. They can begin their progress toward 
that baccalaureate degree and at the same time earn their associate's degree at Thomas Nelson by transferring credits back to Thomas Nelson. These students will be offered academic, career, and financial aid advising by us and access to all athletic events and renewable $5,000 scholarships to encourage them to come to our campus. How are we doing? You still with me? <laughs> Let's talk for a moment about STEM. Building on our strength in the STEM disciplines, with over a third of our students now majoring and graduating with a STEM degree, we will be expanding our offerings in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This year, we've expanded our faculty in computer science to meet the increasing demands of our students and Virginia. We expect to produce over 500 additional degrees in computer science and computer engineering over the next 20 years. Just recently, our electrical engineering program was accredited by ABET, the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology. This is a remarkable accomplishment for a program that started in August 2014 with three students. We now have 65 students majoring in electrical engineering at Christopher Newport University. This year, we're introducing a new major in cybersecurity, which will be housed in the Department of Physics, Computer Science, and Engineering. This major will have a strong grounding in computer science and information science, and will focus on the protection of computing systems, hardware, software, data, protecting them from digital attacks. We're also introducing a new minor in data science, that will be available to all majors and prepare students for handling the analysis and the interpretation of large data sets. Finally, spurred by the arrival of Amazon to Virginia and the Tech Talent Initiative, Christopher Newport and Virginia Tech have agreed to partner and develop a four plus one master's degree in computer science in computer engineering. Students will be able to spend four years here because we have a master's program in these fields. They'll be able to take some of the courses here. They go to Northern Virginia to this new billion dollar complex that is envisioned and will be soon created uh, to house the master's program. And in just a year more, they will be able to graduate in five years, earning a baccalaureate degree and a master's degree in computer science and computer engineering. We should also celebrate the remarkable success of the Luter School and our faculty and students there. The influential business publication, Poets and Quants, ranked the Luter School among the top 50 undergraduate business programs in America. The top 50. But that's just the beginning. Listen to this. This spring, Luter's 182 graduating seniors all took what's known as the major field test. Every soon to graduate seniors, we didn't cherry pick the best. They all took the test. This is a national annual exam which measures student learning. It's taken by over 100,000 graduating seniors from 515 institutions. Our students, CNU captains, scored in the 99th percentile, the top 1% of the nation. These kind of achievements underscore the 
the quality of instruction, the rigor of our programs, and of course, the intellectual firepower of our students. Listen to this. Students from the Luter School of Business also won the 2019 Bloomberg Trading Challenge, a national competition that tested the investment skills of 266 teams from 81 universities, including both graduate and undergraduate teams. Our students bested teams from Princeton, from Columbia, and from the full sweep of the most revered institutions, public and private, in America. And our students won the final competition at Bloomberg's headquarters in New York City. Finally, a new master's in financial analysis has been approved to begin in the fall of 2020. And students are already signing up and already sending their money. It's a marvelous happening. I also want to offer my congratulations to Christopher Newport's Leadership Studies Program. This past summer, our leadership program our Leadership Studies program was recognized as the most outstanding program in America by the Association of Leadership Educators. The most outstanding, the best, number one. I also want to applaud and thank our remarkable music program for an extraordinary performance of our students and faculty at the musical showcase this past weekend, family weekend, and our amazing marching band that brings so much life and energy spirit to our campus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> From cybersecurity to Captain's Connection, from academics to athletics to the arts, Christopher Newport is offering inspiring leadership. Inspiring leadership. Those are the good words of our friend Judy Wassum. Judy serves on our Board of Visitors. Judy and Harry established the Wassum Center for Public Policy. Today I'm announcing a major new two-year initiative that we will call Inspiring Leadership. Thank you, Judy Wassum. Our purpose is to expand Christopher Newport's reach and reputation, more powerfully and persuasively share who we are, our vision, our values, what it means to lead a life of significance. And we need your support and your help to succeed. The time is right. On September 18, 2021, two years from this day, Christopher Newport will be 60 years old. You know, in our 30s and 40s and 50s, we aspired to make our mark, to influence others. Now, as we approach 60, we have living proof of our success and significance through the lives and good works of over 25,000 alumni. You see, inspiring leadership is a proof point that what we say we are, and our alumni are actually living lives of significance, of meaning and consequence and purpose. So here is what I'm asking you to do. First, help us tell the story. We will find and share stories of our alumni who are leading good lives, making a difference, making their communities and this world a better place. 
These stories will be told by us and also by well-known and respected people and organizations. Those stories will be shared broadly to reach as wide an audience as possible, including those who are unfamiliar with us and with the impact and excellence of this university and our graduates. Let me give you an example. Maria Booker, class of 2010, was just named by Northern Virginia Magazine as one of six Northern Virginians of the year. Maria was an English major, a leadership student, and active in Greek life. Yes, English department. <laughs> well done. Today, Maria is the executive director of Chance for Life, a nonprofit raising millions for pediatric cancer research. Through targeted research and treatment, children are le leaving hospice care and enjoying brighter futures because of Maria Booker and her good work. That's a life that matters. That's a story the world should hear. And there's so many others. We need your help to tell those stories. We will all soon receive an email with instructions on how to suggest individuals and share stories. And we have a section of our website dedicated to telling stories about our amazing captains and their lives of leadership and service. Next, we will celebrate important milestones. Here's a partial list of what will unfold at Christopher Newport over the next two years. Look at that list. 30th anniversary of lifelong learning. There are nearly 700 people involved in the Lifelong Learning Society today. The new turf field, the Jennings Family Stadium, dedication. The naming of the President's Room at the Freeman Center. Thank God we will put somebody's name on that. Um, that was the first building that we built, and it's taken us two decades, but we have a generous donor. 60th Charter Day, March 3, 2020. 10th anniversary of the Wassum Center, new residence hall, fine arts center opening, band rehearsal hall opening, new senior north building opening, 60th anniversary of Christopher Newport, September 18, 2021, 20th anniversary of the marching captains, the marching captains. When we started football about 15, 16 years ago, I pulled people together and I said, if we're gonna have a football team, we need to have a marching band and I want a marching band of over 200. The color just drained from their faces. <laughs> you know how many are in the marching band today? 230 strong, the second largest marching band in America among Division III schools. <laughs> Think of how many students Graduates of this place have been a part of the marching band experience on this campus. And we need to celebrate with them the 20th anniversary of the marching captains. The first class of community captains will come here in the fall of 2021. The 30th anniversary of theater CNU, the 30th anniversary of graduate studies, the fifth anniversary of the Click Alumni House, 15th anniversary of the Center for American Studies, 20th graduating class in PLP, 25th class at PLP, will will September 2022, Christopher Newport College became Christopher Newport University. July 1st, 2022 will be the anniversary. We would be crazy if we didn't seize these moments and celebrate each with joy to ener generate energy among those for whom each milestone has special meaning, but energy across this campus and throughout the Christopher Newport community. 
These celebrations will inspire a deeper appreciation for the mosaic of experiences that inspire us to lead and serve. Third, our university community, our students, our faculty, our staff, our alumni, must continue to make a difference, and we must do more. As the stories of our graduates are told and our milestones celebrated, I believe our community's passion for service will be affirmed and enhanced. All of us are involved in some way. So many of you already serve beyond Christopher Newport, coaching a little league team, working at a food pantry, teaching a Sunday school class. We're engaged and serving in so many ways in our community, our commonwealth, our country, and our world. So with your help, we will record those hours so others will see our mighty impact. We'll create what's called a social impact statement that shows just how much this Christopher Newport family contributes. Our students, in the last year, completed over 100,000 hours of service. <laughs> Finally, we will ask for treasure. Just as we do on CNU Day, we will lift up specific projects and programs for support with goals and timelines, while always continuing to invite everyone to support those programs closest to their hearts. So I ask you to help us identify what those programs and projects should be. And then together, we will find the financial support to empower our students and our faculty. If we do all three things, tell our stories, celebrate our milestones, and make a difference by serving and giving, here is what we will accomplish. Everyone will better know the remarkable ways this university and our alumni our inspiring leadership. New audiences of prospective students and their families, donors, employers, and thought leaders will know what captains do. Alumni pride and commitment will soar as we tell these remarkable stories of leadership and service. If we tell those stories, celebrate our milestones, and make a difference with our lives, we'll be able to honor our 60th anniversary, two years from this day, with joy and purpose. Joy, purpose, compassion, leadership, honor, service. That is who we are. That is what makes Christopher Newport different distinctive and precious, inspiring leadership for 60 years and for the future. Go Captains. Have a great day, and thank you again. I have been so richly blessed in my life with extraordinary opportunities, but I've never enjoyed anything more, and I've never been about a more important task than leading and serving with each of you in creating a great university for America and instructing and inspiring 
these extraordinary young women and men that grace this campus on living lives of meaning and consequence and purpose and having the courage to dream, to dream about how they best can set this world on fire. Thank you to each of you.